Hello Internet, welcome to another antenna tutorial. In this quick tutorial, I want to talk about antenna radiation regions. Now, this topic is very important to understand the phenomena behind uh, the electromagnetic fields and their characteristics at different regions uh, with respect to the distance of the antenna. So, what we have here is we have let us say an antenna now very close to the antenna you'll find that the radiations are really strong and that is why they are they are called as reactive near field region now the uh, it is pretty self explanatory the name of this region it is near because this is the this is in the closest proximity to the antenna and it is reactive because the field strength is so much that if you bring some inductive uh, material closer to this antenna in this region it will try to dissipate all its radiated energy in the form of current and uh, now the the length or the radius of this region which is the closest to the antenna which is reactive near field region is characterized by uh, radius r1 whose formula can be written like this where l will be the longest dimension of the antenna in case of aperture antennas l will be the the longest dimension of either length or the broader side of the antenna in case of a parabolic antenna it will be the radius of course now after this region comes the next region which is known as radiating near field region so I'll draw it with a different color pen now this particular region is known as radiating near field region and uh, <coughs> its radius is characterized by r2 is equal to 2l square by lambda and another name for this uh, radiating near field region is Fresnel region now it starts from the point where reactive near field region ends and it extends up to a radius of R2 and uh, furthermore you could say that uh, the Fresnel zone starts from this point onwards and extends up to this point and as far as the radiation fields are concerned they, uh, they there are some characteristics of radiating fields in this region the first characteristic is that e and h are not completely orthogonal 
for example in this region e and a, e and h they they start to uh, diverge from each other and they they start to form a 90 degrees angle making themselves orthogonal to each other but they are not fully orthogonal they they start they are fully orthogonal after the fresnel region which is the fraunhofer region so anything uh, greater than uh, 2l square upon lambda will be the fraunhofer region and i'll characterize this region by this or rather it need not be characterized because anything after this to infinity will be Fraunhofer region. Now here the waves are completely planar. E and H are perpendicular to each other. They are completely orthogonal and secondly the waves are planar in nature the strength of the wave decreases and the angular field distribution is independent of the radial distance so uh, all the three regions they are named as reactive near field region radiating near field region and the Fraunhofer region which is also known as the far field region uh, this this name is easier to remember radiating near field is also easier to remember and Fresnel and Fraunhofer region are the names of the region which are uh, which are based upon their inventors so uh, that is how the the region around an antenna is classified the nearest one is is having the most electric strength and that is why it's known as reactive near field region we we do not try to place any any reactive thing as close to the antenna as close as the reactive near field because it will dissipate all its energy the next one is radiating near field and the last one is Fraunhofer region and we must remember the formula for the distances which are uh, which are just two formulas and they are dependent upon the wavelength and the maximum length of the antenna i hope this quick tutorial on the antenna radiation regions was helpful thank you so much for watching the video have a good day and a good life bye